For my film analysis presentation, I chose to analyze Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Specifically, I will be analyzing the genre, the characters, and the scenes. The Harry Potter series is of the fantasy genre. The film is fantasy because it is constantly portraying fictional ideas such as magic, magical creatures, and magical people in a magical world. Throughout the entire series, the students at Hogwarts are learning how to use their magic wands, how to perform spells, and mix many different types of potions. All of these ideas are factors of the fantasy genre. In this scene, you will see the characters drinking what they call Polyjuice Potion. Polyjuice Potion is used to shift one's body into someone or something other than themselves. This is an example of the magic that is used to film in this film to create the fantasy genre. Roasted peanuts, dark chocolate, and 10 grams of delicious protein. Try Nature Valley Protein Bars. Hello, Harry. Oh, wow. Fast forward. You're looking fit. To get to the uh, point. We go in pairs. That way, if anyone's out there waiting for us, and I reckon there will be, they won't know which Harry Potter is the real one. The real one? I believe you're familiar with this particular brew. No. Absolutely not. I told you to take it well. Uh, no, if you think I'm going to let everyone risk their lives for me. I, I've never done that before, have I? No. No, this is different. We're like, taking that, becoming me. No. Well, none of us really fancy it, mate. Yeah, imagine if something went wrong and we ended up a screwy specky kid forever. Everyone here is of age, Potter. They've all agreed to take the risk. <clears throat> Technically, I've been coerced. Mundungus pleasure, Mr. Potter. Always been a huge admirer. Nip it, Mundungus! All right, Granger, I was disgust. Blow me, Hermione. Straight in here, if you please. taken polyjuice potion before fair warning it tastes like goblin piss i have lots of experiences with that dear maddo just trying to diffuse the tension Potter films are known for some of the real, the great magical characters, char creatures that are used constantly throughout the film. There are dragons, elves, pixies, centaurs, werewolves, dementors, the list goes on. In this scene, you will see, you will see a dragon. Considering dragons are not real and are mainly used in fantasy worlds, it brings us back to the main idea of the film being a, a fantasy.
it. There's a dragon. All right. The Harry Potter characters are all so amazing and so important. From the first film to the last, the viewers create relationships with the characters, seeing them grow from children to young adults. Neville Longbottom is an important yet overlooked character in the series. Neville is known for being afraid, but at the same time, he wants to be brave. In the last film, Neville changes everyone's opinion of himself by proving he has conquered his fears. He is a classic underdog character. In this scene, Neville takes a stand against the Dark Lord when everyone else stands quiet. This is important because it is Neville's turning point for his character. Right. You're watching the Moon Channel, where we cover the moon all day and all night. Don't be afraid if I show you a picture of the full moon, because you, you won't turn into a werewolf. That's just a myth. I must say I'd hoped for better. <laughs> and who might you be, young man? Never long bottom. <laughs> well, Neville, I'm sure we can find a place for you in our rank. I'd like to say something. I'm sure we'd all be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Doesn't matter that Harry's gone. Stand down, Neville. People die every day. Friends. Family. Yeah. We lost Harry tonight. He's still with us. Here, so spread Remus Tonks, all of them. They didn't die in vain. But you will, because you're wrong. <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us, for all of us. It's not over. Neville. Professor McGonagall is a favorite to many. She is a strong, independent woman figure, and she always does what is right no matter, no matter what. Though at times she must be stern with the students, she is respected because her heart is in the right place. McGonagall is a classic badass old lady. This scene is very powerful because we finally get to see Professor McGonagall in action. The school is under attack, and she gives the students permission to do whatever it takes to protect the school. I presume you have a reason for returning, Potter. What is it you need? Time. Professor, as much as you can get me. Do what you have to do. I'll secure the castle. Potter. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Professor. Hold the phone. Mr. Finnegan, 
As I recall, he has a particular proclivity for pyrotechnics. I can bring it down. That's the spirit. Where are you going? You do realize, of course, we can't keep up you-know-who indefinitely. That doesn't mean we can't delay him. And his name is Voldemort. Silius, you might as well use it. He's going to try to kill you either way. Pierre Totem Locomoto! Bellatrix shares a love-hate relationship with the viewers. She is loved by many because of her amazing performance as Miss Lestrange, but she also killed multiple other amazing characters, and that made it all too easy to want her dead. Bellatrix is the female villain of this film. This, sh this scene shows just how villainous Bellatrix can be when she murders one of the most loved characters in the series. The scene was probably the last straw for many viewers. When you're in a relationship, you give the person a call back, even to tell them if you're not interested. Oh, Take a pull, 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 all over yeah. me, off your body. Jesus! What are you doing here? Dobby has come to rescue Harry Potter. Let's start right here. For those who do not know, Dobby did die moments later because of her. The, this film being the final one of the series, it contains multiple turning point scenes. Most of the major scenes are extremely emotional, but all contain so much meaning. This scene is Snape's death, probably one of the saddest death scenes of all time in my opinion. This scene is extremely important for multiple reasons. Snape has been a double agent throughout the series, risking his own life to protect Harry. 
During the time being, Harry was always suspicious of Snape being one of the Dark Lord's allies. At the end of the scene, Harry collects Snape's tear, which contains his memories, and later in the film, Harry views them and finally figures out that Snape was in love with his mother and was just trying to protect him all along. Roasted peanuts, dark chocolate, and 10 grams of delicious protein. Try Nature Valley Protein Bars. Oh, yum. This scene is critical because Harry gives his life for the Dark Lord to take as a sacrifice. Harry is a horcrux, and in order for the Dark Lord to be defeated, Harry must die. This scene is a classical, classic sacrificial scene. It is quiet and quick. For those who do not know, Harry comes back to life, as we saw in an earlier clip, to defeat the Dark Lord. No sign of him, my lord. Last scene. As everything boils down, the final battle scene approaches. This scene is crucial because so much happens. First, Bellatrix is killed by the almighty mom figure, Molly, which is amazing because she was super momtastic and everyone was just waiting for Bellatrix to get what she had coming. Then we have our underdog, Neville, who takes out Nagini the snake, who is the last horcrux. At this point, 
With the last Horcrux finally destroyed, Lord Voldemort is vulnerable and can now be killed. Finally, the Dark Lord is defeated by Harry and all is finished. Let's watch it all unravel. right when I plug it in. Well, I guess that's that. I did explain everything that happens. Bellatrix dies, the last Horcrux is killed by Neville, the underdog, and Lord Vortimer is finally defeated by Harry. The end. <laughs> 